Okay, as I promised you, these are going to be quick tips. So I'm going to assume you know how to set up a screen, a screenshot like this as far as putting a character in place. I'm adding anything to make it look good, so we're not going to go into that. may do that in detail um, down the line. There are plenty of tutorials out on that. If you, want, if you want me to make one on it, put it down in the comments down below, and I'll be more than happy to. Uh, so anyway, we've got our shot set up here and everything. We've got what we want. And what we're going to do is we're going to push Q button. We're going to go over here and we're going to click camera. And set that about where I want it. And there's camera. Now, I want to show you something on the Q. Up here, there's a camera key. I have an A set up as a camera key. If you click here, you press A key, mouse, and A key right here again. And I'm going to go ahead and I want the camera for that. Okay. So let's go over here now and... Uh, get the physics gun now we can get her out of the way now to get back to again the physics gun and everything there you can see we have the gun we can do what we want if we want to make additions to it I push the A I push A again and our screenshot set up here let's get her out of the way okay so we're ready to take the screenshot so all we got to do now is press F12 and up in the right hand corner there you'll see that the screenshot was taken was saved so let's go up let's uh, press escape and I guess back over here I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna close that down I'm gonna go over here to my file manager and show you how to get to the uh, picture now we go over here to C I'll put this down below here uh, program files and we're gonna go down to Steam And now we're going to look for Steam Apps. There it is, Steam Apps. And Common, I know, right? <laughs> Long ways to get to it. Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod again. And then we look down to uh, Screenshots. And w what it does is it puts it in a TGA file, uh, which you'll have to take to uh, either Image Ready, Photoshop, something like that. Um, in order to uh, make any changes to it, but it's supposed to put a more of a high definition type of a, a picture right there. But this is actually the picture that we have right here. Um, I'm going to double click on that just to kind of show you here. And we'll go into uh, Adobe Photoshop. I have that again. You can use Image Ready. I think Image Ready comes with most of the, uh, most of the uh, programs and everything. And there you see now we've got we've got uh, heavy. Here's our picture right here. Here's the screen. We can uh, you know make our adjustments in Photoshop and all. And then we go to save it. I like to save it as uh, as a JPEG, and then I can use it on my uh, website, um, in in books that I write and so forth. Uh, graphic books, maybe in cartoons and stuff like that. So that's how you go about um, taking a screenshot, and that's how you go about finding it. So I hope that helps you. And again, it's a quick tip, so we're not going to go into everything. Just quickly show you how to do it, how to, how to take the screenshot, and then how to find it afterwards. So I hope that helped you. Let me know if it did.